Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to go about approval of something inside of Google Drive and show you how to go about doing that. So just before we begin, my name is Francesco, I'm the host here at Keep Productive. If you fancy subscribing, you can find this link in the description. We're doing more sort of googly features, Microsoft features and other stuff that you might find interesting. So this is a brand new feature. Well, I'd say it's about three or four months old, but you can find it over on the details area of a of the files that you might have inside of Google Drive. If you go to approvals, you'll see that here, there's nothing here and it will state any approvals that you have. But for example, let's say I'm, I'm approving this. I've just made this. I'm sending it to my the editor or my boss. I don't know. Um, and I make a request. So basically you can do this with clients for example, if I were to do this with um, my editor, then what I can do is, is make sure that he's assigned an email. And that's great is you can add anyone an email what you like. You can write them a little message like, this needs having a look at. And you can add a due date. And in this case, I'm gonna say by tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m. Uh, and you have to go down and click okay. Then you can say whether you want to allow approvers to edit this file and whether you want to lock it the file before sending approval. Yeah, I probably want to do that and I can send a request. So while this is sending, what will happen is it will pop up here as an approval that's happening. I can open it up and I can see the interaction here. And what's cool is I can he can leave me messages for approval. I can add additional people and I can change or set a new due date. So that's the approvals process, and it's quite a helpful little method to actually making sure that you're sending stuff and getting feedback, and you can access it by through the right click here, and you can unlock it if it's something that is limiting you with your access. And if you wanted to get rid um, of it, let me just pause that. If you wanted to get rid of this, you can cancel the request here, and you can even leave an optional message for that person. You can see that the canceled message appears here. So if we go back, you'll see approval cancelled. So hopefully I give you an idea of how to use it. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe to Keep Productive and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.